Mount Vegas, when we hit back at Nigerian army and all that, burning houses and killing Igbos, the indigenous people of Biafra Ipop, threatens attack. Welcome to the news and thank you for tuning in to listen. The Prio Biafra group said the affected persons were victimized because they were sympathizers or Igbo members of the indigenous people of Biafra. It is no longer news that a certain part of a country, the southeastern region, is gradually turning to another Bronu in the southeastern part of Nigeria. Courtesy of what I call the military, the military or will I say the security operatives have their own share of blame. Then there is unknown gunmen. Then there is Max gunmen. All against the people. All I'm saying is the people are the ones suffering. They say, when two ele elephants fight, what happened? It is the ground that was suffering. That is exactly what is happening in the region. People die on a daily basis. Not natural deaths. People are killed. Houses are burnt. Nigeria, no good. Nigeria, no good. The, one, the small one people has that are using to manage their lives, they, 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 they burn it down. All in the name of what? The news in detail, please stay with us. The indigenous people of Biafra are up on Wednesday said the Nigerian army has burned down more than 30 houses belonging to innocent citizens in Enugu, Imo, and Eboi in the last week. The pro-Biafra group said the factors persons were victimized because they were sympathizers or Igbo members of the indigenous people of Biafra. It's however vowed that the accomplices of the army will be made to pay for the actions. A map for the spokesman for the indigenous people of Biafra IPOP issued the warning in a statement on Wednesday in which he accused Southeast Governors and Regional Security Outfits Ebubago of working with the military to kill Igbo people and burn houses in the area. The statement reads with the global family of the indigenous people of Biafra Ipop under the command and leadership of our great leader and prophet Mazinam the Khan wish to state unequivocally that anyone including southeastern governors involved in sponsoring and encouraging Nigerian soldiers and the infamous Ibubago security outfit to burn houses of innocent people suspected to be Ipop members or supporters of Biafra agitation in the southeastern states, especially in state, will never Go free. This wicked accomplices of the ongoing genocide in Biafra land will soon pay for their treachery and cruelty to fellow citizens. IPOB will not allow this barbarity and cruelty to continue. We will avenge those unprovoked and needless attacks against houses of innocent Biafran citizens. The mindless burning down of houses in our region by Nigerian security and Ibubago cannot go unreciprocated. We warned against the formation of Ibubago in Biafra land. We knew what they were coming to do to collide with the security agencies in killing our people. People ignored our warning and today we have been vindicated. Our fears have come true, but the wicked will not go free. For doing this to our people, we declare that the days of Ibubago in Biafra land are numbered. They will pay for what the military is using them to do against their fellow Biafrans. In less than one week now, Nigerian army has burned down more than 30 of innocent citizens in Ninugu, Imo, and Eboi because they are Igbo members of IPOB and sympathizers of IPOB. Very soon, we will make public the total number of houses so far burned in different parts of Biafra land, especially in Ninugu, Imo, and the Boy states. We also want the governors of these states to take note and not blame IPOP for any reprisal because we cannot afford the arms or lock criminals and security in uniforms to continue to commit genocide in Biafra land unchallenged. Since nobody is defending our helpless people, we shall not abandon them. Enough is enough. Again, the politi politicians supporting and encouraging the Nigeria Evil Security Army and Police who cannot withstand terrorists rampaging and ravaging the whole north, must pay for their treachery. They will send first the wrath of the people. Ohane's Indibu leadership is not left out because they have done nothing to stop the mayhem. Elders and stakeholders in the southeastern region should not beg us to come that one will begin to pay back these agents of that and Soros in their own coin. Instead, they should tell the army and police to stop burning down people's properties now. By the time we shall begin to reciprocate these atrocities, we will not listen to anyone. 
We were aware that Nigerian government and the security agencies have concluded arrangements to introduce the IDP as in the case in the north, but they will not succeed. Southeastern governors must rise against this barbarity if they have no hand in it. There is no one in the north where innocent villagers are invaded by security agents and their houses are set on fire. Calling the attention of foreign missions in Nigeria to put their alleged genocide in Imo State, IPOP said, We are putting the world on notice, particularly the American Embassy in Abuja, British High Commissioner in Abuja, Israeli Ambassador in Abuja, Russia Embassy in Abuja, French Embassy in Abuja, India Embassy in Abuja, and Canadian Embassy in Abuja of this ongoing genocide. They should take note because IPOP will not tolerate this burning down of our communities anymore. Nobody should blame IPOP if we decide to defend our ancestral land against these genocidal attacks. What I will say about this is, you remember my slogan now, there is a limit to what people can take. Some people will come out and say, oh, the Northerners have been en enduring the attacks for... The Northerners wants to be here. The day the Northerners will come out and say enough is enough, I tell you, see, whatever is happening in their land will come to, will come to halt. The day they tell themselves, ah, my mama don't do. This book around people, which is looking like they are doing us, the more you look, the less you see. That day, this issue of book around will be reduced to the barest minimum. The Southeasterners... It is not today that they have started screaming out. Nigeria is not good. Nigeria is not working. Things are not working out for people. Then you go and burn people's houses. The recent development about this is actually, I think it happened, is it in Enugu or in Imo State, where they said um, some military men, some men in military, uh, um, some men in uniforms came in, a, they said they came in a hillocks or cars, and they looked for a particular person because the person was not around. Okay, the person you are looking for is not around. You don't even know his house. His house. He went and burnt houses belonging to his brothers. A neighboring compound. And you will go home. They will serve you food. You will eat. You will now go bed and have your bed. And have your sleep. And have your sleep, right? Peacefully. In your mind, it is going to be well with you. Posterity will not be kind to you. They say garbage is in, garbage out. The only people I can say in this kind of a situation is when soldiers, you know, they are actually in war front and this kind of things happen. Then, you know, the soldiers, they are only fighting and making sure there is peace in the state. But in the case where there is actually no prompt, no need for the attack and it happens. I've said my own. No. The Southeasterners, they have told the people that, <laughs> not that I'm supporting violence, but what do you expect these people to do, even in the northern region? What do you expect them to do, especially when they have called and cried and wailed and asked that the government should help them and nothing will happen? What will happen is that people will turn and will start defending themselves. And then, by that time, their ears will be clogged. They will no longer listen to whatever solution you are going to be wanting to prefer to them. Okay, on this note, we've come to the end of the news. We say thank you for tuning in to listen. Until I come your way next time, enjoy the rest of your day.